Hey everyone, today's video, the review, I swear to God, this has to be the winner for the die-cast car with the most names. This goes by Suzuki Vitara, Suzuki Sidekick, in the U.S. at least. We also had it in the U.S. as the Geo Tracker. Um, it also goes by Suzuki Escudo, which reminds me of, I don't know if you remember the early Gran Turismo games where late in the game you won this... Pike's Peak Challenge version that had like a thousand horsepower and basically won every race you put it in. So it goes by that name too. This is by a brand I'm not that familiar with called Dorlip. Um, I think it's mainly a, a Chinese brand that does dealer editions of Japanese cars like Mazdas and whatnot. Um, I became aware of it because American Excellence got these in in both left hand and right hand drive in a few different colors, I think red, white, and gray. And no one does this subject matter. This is a bit obscure. This is a bit quirky, which is kind of in my wheelhouse. It's actually very well done. Um, it, again, might not be a brand I'm familiar with, but the quality approaches what I expect from, from maybe older auto arts even. Paint quality is pretty good. Uh, the gaps are a little thick, that's what keeps it from being quite auto art quality, but, you know, it has dog leg, you know, dog leg hinges on the hood, which makes it kind of a cheaper model, but engine detail is very good. I mean, it has a full chassis, unlike, you know, what we're getting used to with resin. And again, of course, this is, this is full die cast. It does have carpeting. And it does have seat belts with buckles. Very, very good interior detail. This, this is this was a bit of a surprise with how good this is. Um, this is actually my second one. The first one came from American Excellence, and was missing these little side marker lights. This is the second one. I got this during the American Excellence sale, which had it at a twenty percent off. R retails like between 100 and 120 on eBay, so I picked this up for about 80 bucks. You can get them on sale in Germany sometimes for 65, but you might be dealing with a lot of money in, in shipping. So, depends on if you're buying other cars, if it's really worth it. The other slightly interesting thing is it came with um, stickers for this, for side trim, I didn't put it on, and stickers for the license plate, which I didn't put them on, I, I figured I'd just leave them in the packaging. But again, very happy. Uh, the wheels are very accurate. I mean, it's it's a good presenting model. And again, it's nice to see someone still making die casts with opening parts. So I guess the brand Dorlop is now on my radar. I don't know what else they'll make, but I'm going to be open-minded to it in the future. So that's it for this week. Uh, I'll have some new videos coming for you soon. Thanks again.